All right, in today's episode, we are going to be combining this sprocket with this sprocket for our jack shaft input on the e-bike. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see here, there is quite a bit of rust on the larger of the two sprockets, as well as some paint over the rust and some grease. So I've already washed off as much of the grease as I can. Um, now I'm just going to clean up the rest of this with the wire brush, and then hopefully we can get this down to some bare metal so we can do some welding. Okay, so the wire brush was a little slow, so we're going to step it up a notch and I'm going to hit it with this 220 grit on the belt sander and uh, hopefully that'll speed up the process here. Woo. Okay, that's working. It's a little iffy, but it's working. That's working really well. I'll just go ahead and clean up the other side. I think that's enough of that. I'll finish this up with the wire brush, but uh, this is looking pretty good. Okay, so I got our two gears lined up here, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of room here between the hub of the other gear, the smaller one that we're using as our adapter, and the hole, the bore for this bigger sprocket. So. To simplify it, I'm going to try uh, just wrap some tape around this and then keep going until we get uh, up to the diameter of this bore. So in theory, that should give us a near perfect uh, center jig, if you will, uh, to mount up that sprocket. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and then weld it on the back side and then I'll remove the tape and then weld in this bore as well. So I'm using black electrical tape uh, just because it has a really nice, thin, and even texture. <clears throat> Not texture, rather more so uh, like the thickness, and I can wind it really tight without getting in uh, any wrinkles in it. See how that's coming along there? should be nice and even. And then when I start getting close to the diameter, I'll go ahead and cut the tape and then just kind of line it up to the hole here, but I still have quite a ways to go. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to the thickness there that we need. So I'll go ahead and cut the roll off here and we'll test fit it. And that is almost perfect. I might even have to take a little bit off. So we'll remove one layer. Perfect. So now I'll go ahead and bring this out to the shop and then weld those up. All right, so I decided to put the sprockets in the uh, shop press here because that's going to allow me to weld the whole back of the sprocket at once uh, without having to tack weld and then reclamp uh, because of depth changes from heat. I've also measured the distance from tooth to tooth in four corners and we're within one millimeter accuracy 
which is way more accurate than most of my stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the welding. Looks like we're going to need a little more current here. Okay, so now that the uh, sprocket is cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and uh, release the pressure and then go ahead and remove that tape so I can weld up the other side. Okay, well it looks like I'll be cutting that off with a razor blade. Alright, it looks like I have a little bit of residue to clean up in there. At this point I don't really need the pressure from the uh, from the jack here. I'm just going to kind of just set it there since that's where I'm working. I'll go ahead and put this underneath so it cools evenly, just like last time. And to finish up, now I'm just going to go ahead and wire brush the welds here to get all the splatter and that powder off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified next time uh, I make another e-bike video. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now we have most of the 
sprockets done. I do have one sprocket out of the total of four that I'm going to have to order. Um, and then after that, we got a whole bunch of stuff like building the battery holders, a um, whole bunch of like chain guards, wiring, uh, all that fun stuff. So make sure you stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.